in the airport is really your home ground. You see them come and you see them go, and you see a lot of Australian artists going overseas. What do you think of the industry in Australia at the moment? Um, some of it, it, well, it's hard because when I, I came back last year from London, I thought it's, it, it's very good. It, it's of high standard. Uh, there's a lot of promise, and over the next year, I think that we're going to do a lot, you know, as far as the Australian scene has pushed to overseas. Um, I went away for about two weeks in uh, June, got back, and suddenly realised that Australia, as far as the pop scene is concerned, is not really together anymore. And subsequently, I think it's going to be a long time before a bulk of Australian groups can go overseas and, uh, and do anything. Uh, like we've got uh, like we've got Daddy Cool in America, uh, and we've had the mixtures in London, but that's sort of one here and one there sort of thing. It's not sort of going to make really any impression that Australia has any worthwhile pop scene to say the American market or to the English market sort of thing. What we've got to do is we've got to get all or a lot of Australian groups, send them all over and then start trying to make some impression. You've built up quite a reputation as a columnist for Go Set, and also you're into management and things like this. Now, most people know about your column, but they don't know about the management side of you at Melbourne. Uh, I took up management, oh, what, three or four years ago, just to learn every facet of the, of the pop scene, um, and it, it taught me a lot of lessons. Uh, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed managing. I enjoyed uh, managing and record producing. That, it gave me a chance to learn record production, and way back with somebody's image in the group. Uh, that sort of gave me my basic background in both management and record production, that when I got back from London in 60, 68, uh, I was ready to sort of tackle something like Russell Morris and the real thing and all this bit, you know? I don't think Russell and I were a good manager artist team. We argued a lot, but, um, but I think that we both benefit from it. Have you got any policy behind your column? Is it a stirring column or what is it? Uh, well, yes, I suppose it's a stirring column. It's just, it's a column that's sort of, I, it's a, I say it's a helpful column to this point, that um, even my best friends, including myself, will, um, will be rubbished in that column. Now, I, um, I, don't, I don't suppose any of us like very harsh criticism, and I don't believe the column does that. I think it just sort of perhaps points out different things that, um, that, that I think are wrong or that perhaps that I've heard other people think are wrong and I just put it into the column. I praise a lot too, sort of thing. You know, I think it, it, it's giving credit where credit's due. Ian, do you think pop culture is dying at the moment? Uh, no, not really. I think that things come and go, like politicians, you know, uh, Gorton in, Gorton out. Uh, and pop groups are the same, sort of thing. There's, there, there's always a cycle. Uh, and, uh, but I, I don't think we can escape that, that the public always want entertainment in some form or another. I mean, whether it's been the Second World War or the First World War, they've always kept the entertainment value within themselves and they've gone out for entertainment. And I think that the pop culture that, that originated from, from England and America perhaps has died as far as, you know, this political importance into, into songs and things like this. But no, I think that, that, that really music is entertainment. Are you totally involved in the pop scene? Do you ever get away from it at all? Uh, I, I think for uh, from about from 60, from 66, 67, 68, 69, I, I, I was totally committed to the pop scene. Um, I lived the pop scene. I ate and slept the pop scene. Today, uh, it's not as I'm not as I haven't lost any of the interest. I haven't lost the the, the 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 will or the drive to try to make the Australian pop scene better. What I have got is that I've gone back to interest I had before. I became interested in the pop scene, like films. I'm, I'm a mad film goer. Um, there's some beautiful films being made. I curse that I never, when I left school, took up you know a, an art and cinematography course. I, I really curse that. Uh, so all I can do now is just go along to films and, and appreciate them from an audience point of view.